Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Russelt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in the previous video we learned, we learned how to create a checkbox dynamically and today we are going to be learning how to create a radio button dynamically. So when you create a, a radio button dynamically, basically creating the, the radio button with code instead of just dragging and dropping it. So you need to create a radio button with code as well as um, assign the properties and events to it. So let's start by doing that. Here we have a basic panel and a button. We will create the radio button with this button and then um, this panel will be the parent for the radio button. Let's start. Let me just increase the font size here. Okay. So basically it's the same as the checkbox in our in our previous video. I'm going to be going pretty fast today. So let's, let's create a variable, then radio button of type T radio button. We set the radio button equals to um, T radio button dot create and then the owner here which is in the brackets uh, the, the owner is basically responsible for destroying the component so we'll say FRM home this is our form's name so the form will be responsible for destroying the component and here we say then radio button one dot uh, parent and we say the parent equals to the PNL panel so that the panel so that the radio button appears on the on this panel. You can read um here V not send this to me over the Delphi WhatsApp WhatsApp group which you can find a link in the description to join the group. So you can pause the video and read this if you want. Okay so that's basically the difference this is but this is basically this is basically the difference between owner and parent so let's continue we say then radio button dot skip the caption and we can say mm, radio let's say dynamic radio button let's add a counter I count of type integer let's just make sure when the form is created that it starts at zero so it's the I count colon equals zero and every time the button is clicked we just want to increase the I count with one and here we say plus I count oops to integer okay now you can say different properties such as let me just copy this make it faster okay we said we can give it a, a height property let's make the height 50 let's give it a font font dot size of 20 uh, let's let's align it to top then right wow, I can just do this dot oops dot align oops that one align we align it to the top the form and hmm let's compile this so long hmm it's the area and it's an identifier oh this is called pnl parent okay so now we're creating different, different components as you can see it works let's say we want it to go from 1 to 7 and not from 7 to 1 then we can just basically say here that the button dot top oops dot top should be equals to the pnl parent dot height so this will make sure that it's basically at the bottom it starts here and so it's, so it's basically created uh, created at the bottom and then it's aligned to the top so it goes to the top basically yeah or nowadays but it can be, but it can be like, like like this also so now when, when we create it as you guys can see and you can even change this property by default like give it a like we can set but let's undo this because it's the radio button but yeah 
So this clearly clearly works. And you can also change any of the other properties in the header button. So now let's add an event for it. Let's create an on click event. You can also create um, different events for it. I'm just, I'm just going to be creating an on click event. Okay. So here in the public de de declarations, let's create a procedure. We'll call it, oops, then radio button click. Let's give it a sender, the object. And then here we add procedure tfrm home oops home dot then radio button and here we're just going to display the, the caption so show message so here so here we want to select the radio button that the radio button that is currently being sent sent from so we say here send there as the radio button and there is a dot caption so this will take the sender um, as radio button so when it is clicked when this procedure is called and it's a radio button then it will take the caption of that uh, radio button and display it so let's link it to um, a radio button to, to the radio buttons dot dot on click so we set the on click to the um, to this procedure let's compile and now let's say we click on this one and here it displays it, the caption for me as well as the other ones as you can see so this works uh, yeah it's, it seems that it doesn't work if it's already checked so, it, so it has to be not checked like that so this was a tutorial on how to create a radio button dynamically um, if this video helped in any way then please make sure to leave, to leave a thumbs up uh, subscribe share and comment below if you have any suggestions for a, f a future video or anything you want to tell me i'll be happy to read it and thanks for watching bye